welcome to communication skills for everyone today let's learn pecuniary independence by pt burnham so pt burnham was an american showman he is best known as the founder and proprietor of the famous circus the greatest show on earth the present essay pecuniary independence is an extract from his by autobiography in which Branham draws attention to the major preoccupations and problems that worries modern men and women. He also provides an excellent advice to mitigate the stress and strain of the day-to-day -day living. So according to Branham, so pecuniary independence can be achieved through rational saving and rational spending. True economy means a man's income has to be more than his expenditure. There are many ways to make the income exceed the outgo. He suggests that one has to wear old coats a little longer, adjust with the old pair of gloves and re repair the old dress and wear it. He must live on plain food instead of going for uh, uh, excess spending. He must also invest a penny here and a dollar there which he could make use of it in uh, difficult times. It requires some training. It also talks about uh, how one can save uh, money for future. So Burnham makes the most uh, important uh, point that if the expenditure is less than the income of an individual, he or she would have no financial worries at all. He recommends an excellent care for heavy spending money. If a person has no surplus money, at the end of the year and it has a good income has to account every item of expenditure he has to ma mark it down in two columns necessaries and comforts then he realizes the real comforts of life cost him less so uh, dr franklin says it is the eyes of the others but not our own eyes that ruin our life in America, many persons say that they are all free and equal, but it is not true. They are not all born equally rich and they can never be. One must not take trouble to prove that he is as rich as the others. You should never deceive anybody to keep up appearances. People who are offer false stranded or perfection will become poor. The greatest secret to real happiness is that one should realize that they are all born equal but their bank balance are not equal. People ought to be sensible in money matters. Women in particular should stay away from vanity and envy which will provoke them into spending lavishly to keep up appearances. Therefore, one must regulate one's expenditure in accordance with his means and deeds. So, I conclude stating uh, Benjamin Franklin's quote, a penny saved is a penny earned. Thank you for watching. Subscribe my channel for more videos.